Welcome back YouTube, this is One Mantis Phoenix reporting through on a new game. Not a new game, an old game. But it's based on an old game, an even older game. So everyone knows asteroids. This is Particle Maze, where your asteroid definitely has special features. Those particles are yours. They aid you in destroying your rockets, your asteroids, your enemies, and it definitely keeps you safe. So as you can see, uh, this this night, or as I say, terrorist, is definitely here to claim my life. But I'm trying not to. Let's see. You have to definitely survive these kind of things. You get your free mode, you get 150 missions with the game. My current mission is to beat this score of 2000 on easy mode. It says it's hard but not too bad, but it's definitely not easy. You know, it gets more difficult. You get these terrorist ships that try and take you down. But what makes it even more a challenge is that you shouldn't be holding your your button full speed you know you have that trigger or that joystick in your control so that you can move a bit slower and change your direction and I think that's also what makes it so fun is that this game is super responsive you've definitely got enough enemy types as you progress through the difficulty itself and it's a gem it's literally a gem I got this on 90% off the steam store when it was on special so I would highly recommend this for anyone that has a controller and wants to have fun I think the only alternative if you don't have a controller is that you play with your mouse but you don't have as much control with say an analog stick or being able to push it fully and then being able to just let go and relax or push it at like 10% this is one of my favorite features, just swinging this in circles, getting your particles flowing around you so that you can keep an open space. Definitely uses some scientific physics, inertia, momentum, keeping things going, stopping, changing direction. You've also got a kill build up, multi kills, help, and you've got to do it within that window that builds up on the top of the screen some general fun so I'm going to try and talk a lot less than my previous attempts but please click like and subscribe if you want to see some more content that isn't popular some amazing old games some non triple A games as well as some triple A games in the future This guy is such a stalker. What's worse is when there's more than one of him, yo. It becomes almost unplayable. Ah, oh, there's another one. But as you can see, this the space that you're driving in is also changing and dynamically evolving as you're going. They don't want you to let you they don't want to let you live or you know, 
that as long as you can go. It's a case of destroy this thing, it's in our zone. <laughs> oh gee. But the missions are really cool as well. Definitely. This this one I need to get this for my ultra spaceship to be unlocked. I'm trying so hard for the last few months. Not not that hard, but trying as much as or as often as I feel like it or remember it. From the four hundred games installed. It's a it's a definite go to when you're looking for something play something to play but you don't wanna you don't wanna play something that takes forever to load while you're waiting for your friends. This is like you get in, play, die, they die, they die, and then eventually your friend gets back to you. <laughs> Multi-kills is the max that you can get to them. And it's just it's just giving you hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. A tactic you can do is let them build up. Don't kill them, let them all get into their little circle as they're following you, chasing you down. And then when things get good or when they think they're gonna get you, you reverse and you take them all down. But you also usually go. <laughs> it's a challenge. You have to like think it out. Look at where you are based on this white wall here. So that thing, that container is constantly moving. It's like your space bubble. You have got your limits. But it's fun. It's definitely a continuous. I mean, I can play this for hours. I can get lost in this. Just trying to beat that score. But at the same time, okay. You obviously won't see it now because I've, I've been scrolling through the ships. But basically you get some ships that you can unlock, some are based on the first 30 missions, some are based on a score within asteroids, one is to complete all the missions, and there's, a, there's only 150 missions in this game but it will take you some time, it's not something you would do in the first day. It would also get so frustrating that you would want to throw your controller around or your mouse but I'd advise not to because you, know, you have other games to play, most likely. It's definitely a simple quality game. It's got lots of replayability just to relax. Think of it as you know, you're not here, you're not on Earth. You're not in space right now. I mean you're not on Earth right now, you're in space. Simple mistakes that always get going. Mm, let's go, Jelly. See this hypership. I can't even see what it looks like, but I'm so excited to get it because once I got that baby, life should be great. Hypership. Probably gonna see like a Millennium Falcon or something. full speed the whole time you know you, you'll get drunk from the dizziness let me 
show you the super speed ship. The actual fast ship. Now you've got like little Yeah, you've got a line. You are the definition of speed, so here we go slow. Meow. You're so damn fast you can make it. I would say this is the most difficult spaceship to go with because just that speed is captivating. You know, you can you can accidentally hit a rocket or I mean like something else more easily <laughs> than I have already been. Something else that helps this game is the unpredictability of it. Just the way the stage moves, the way the asteroids come through. You can try your best to shape them and everything, but they definitely have their own way of thinking or randomizing. And I think that's also really good. ship that you can chase away or get away from those stalkers. I don't know about you, but I haven't heard this music at all yet. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, that is the fastest. Okay, let's go for cascading. These ones are cool because unpredictability is great. Even further than actually just trying to predict how the level will go. It's difficult to escape you when you have multi multi lend tentacles. You can also the driving in circles is much better with this guy. I 
like you have a better area of effect with this one. It was one of the most recent unlocks, so it does come later in the game for everyone. But it's pretty cool. Well, I think actually it's the 400. The, the one where you must score 400 on asteroids. I don't remember 100%, but it might have been one of those missions. Well, I'll show you asteroid level after this before we finish up. I go for the best score that I can here with this and then we'll do an asteroid level to show you. Oh, oh. Nearly twice dead there. See these stalkers go through spaceships, I mean asteroids. The responsiveness of this game is definitely what is really good. Uh, you can have multiple people playing co-op on your one computer, on one device. I'm sure it is available somewhere else. Got a new personal best score. Let's do this. We are closer to 2000 than before.
oyster than an oyster. We got the 2000. Yeah, boy. Let's see what else we can do. And then this ultra ship is probably going to be worth it. I mean, 2000. You needed 2000, and it took me so long to get you. Damn. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good. We've got something new to show the world as well. <laughs> I doubt many people have done it. The achievements in this game have been also very random. It involved modifying an XML document inside the game's installation directory. So that was really cool. That was different. It was fun. It was like, okay, you, you wanted me to do this, let's do it. And then you get the achievement for it. Um, yeah, I think that's also one of the things I love about online games. is just getting it legit for the achievements. Okay, there we go. Hypership, you earned it. Damn boy. Oh my goodness. Things won't just stop moving. What things just won't stop moving? It's good to be excited. And these things are also like a ship on acid. Wow, 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 wow. But I can't tell you if it's going in a straight line. Like, will, will my body reverberate through an asteroid or next to an asteroid if it gets stuck in that sense oh yeah it does look very active supposed to do this let's do this in asteroid mode okay let's just die quick I guess it does have a good tell for this for the ship to not be super straight lined Let's go asteroid hunting. Let's do one more. Okay. Arcade, arcade. It's not about the difficulty. Yes, it is about the here, the asteroid field. So you are literally surrounded. Even making your full circles are difficult, but it's possible. Oh dear. Okay. It's twenty-six. <laughs> One achievement here yeah, yeah, was just get score 400 and whoa whoa oh this hypership is moving by itself you just change the direction and, <laughs> and it goes look at that it won't stop moving by itself This is also the perfect map where you get your, your highest score here would become from this ship where your cascading lengths are in your favor. So I'll show you quickly. They're just constantly penetrating these rockets, or I mean these asteroids. One of the best ways to also just move 
and let your your sprites what's it, the particles come back to you but thank you youtube for watching this is one mantis phoenix signing out please click like and subscribe if you'd like to see some more out of the ordinary games we won't only support big developers people like andy wallace and andymakes.com definitely deserve some recognition so as i said find the link in the description and you can make this yours or you can add it to your wishlist and then you know get a bonus on special as well because it's definitely worth it either way but yeah thank you for joining me catch you soon